Welcome to Flash Basic 7. It's titled Windmill with More Animation. It's a follow-up to Flash Basic 6, which was the windmill registration point and alignment panel. And I have that FLA on my display now. Locking all layers, selecting the bottom layer, inserting a layer, and I'm dragging that layer to the bottom and calling it grass, G-R-A-S-S, -S. picking up uh, a stroke color of green and a fill color of green, but I'm going to go to the pinwheel and pick up a lighter color for my fill. Slightly lighter. Slightly lighter. With my rectangle tool, and frame one selected, a little more than halfway up the stage, I'm drawing a square. Picking up my selection tool, highlighting it. Open my panel, properties panel, and I know my stage is 550. Make sure this chain link is closed and make this width 550. And when I press the enter, this will also change accordingly. If you don't have your alignment window docked here, your alignment panel looks like that. Open up window, find the alignment panel. While it's selected, open the alignment panel. Make sure this align to stage is clicked. And this one will center it horizontally. And that should put that panel right where we want it for now still select it, come up, modify, convert to a symbol, make sure it's a movie clip, register it here at the bottom, right, right down there, registration point at the very bottom in the middle, and call it grass, G-R-A-S-S -S underscore M-C. Let's open the grass layer, double click on it, and that puts us inside the grass movie clip. Call this layer grass, G-R-A-S-S. -S. Lock it. Inside this grass movie clip, add a new layer, call it flower, F-L-O-W-E-R, one, flower one. And I want you to draw a little flower. I made one to save time, and I'll give you a close-up to show you what it looks like. Just a little, little flower. Back to 50%. Take that flower, and we're going to put it on the stage right there. Lock that layer. Oh, before we lock it, let's go up, modify it. Let's highlight it. Modify it. Convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected and call it flower one. Registration points in the middle. There it is, okay. Properties panel, flower one movie clip. F-L-O-W-E-R one underscore M-C. That's that flower. Let's lock that layer. Let's add a layer, call it flower two. Oh, just flower two. There's a second flower that I'm putting in this on this video, right there. Flower two. Modify well it's selected, modify it. Convert it to a symbol, flower two, underscore MC, registration point in the center, and give it an instance name, flower two. So I have two flowers on this, and if we just go back to scene one for a minute, you can see they're here, and if we just test our movie real quick, we should see those two flowers. There they are, looking good. Let's go back into the grass 
Let's go back into the grass movie clip, double click on it, or inside that grass movie clip. There's our two flowers. And let's just select flower two for a minute, which I believe is this one. Let's double click on it. Now, we're inside of flower two movie clip. So we have scene one. Inside of scene one, we have this grass movie clip. Inside the grass movie clip, we have the flower two movie clip. And inside this flower two movie clip, let's make it a little bit larger. There it is. Let's call this flower two, so we know where we are. Insert a layer, lock the flower layer, call this B, B E E two. It's B number two, select frame number two, and I want you to draw a little B. And here's my little B that I drew. There he is. Nothing fancy. I just drew him ahead of time. And I can see he is just a little bit bigger than what I want. But that's all right. We're going to put him right on top of the flower for a minute. He's bigger than what I want. And while he's still highlighted, modify, convert him to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected and call him B2 underscore MC. Doesn't matter where the registration point is at the time. We'll play with that. Okay. Open this properties panel. Call him B2 underscore MC. And let's do the same thing with the other flower. So let's go back to the grass. Let's lock frame two. Let's unlock flower one. Let's make this a bit bigger so we can see that flower. The other flower, it's over here, flower one. Let's double click on it. Now we're inside of its movie clip. Make this layer called flower one. Lock that layer. Make a new layer. Call it B1. Select frame one. Now bring that little B in, or in your case, draw your little B, however you did it. There he is. He's on the flower. Don't worry about his size. Modify him. Convert him to a symbol. Make sure he's a movie clip. B1 underscore MC. Give him a property name. BEE1 -E underscore MC. So now we have movie clips inside of movie clips. Let's go back to scene one. And let's quickly look at it. And there's my windmill turn, and there's my two Bs. Let's make the stage smaller, 25%. Don't worry about these. These are just things I was using here to save me some time drawing. And I'm going to select the grass layer and pull that off the stage. And that includes the two Bs, and that includes the, the flowers that are with it. Go into our lock that. Go into our actions panel and do some action coding. Down here, after we have this prop rotation, put a couple lines, a couple backslashes, grass area. This is the grass area area. We want to call up this grass area, and we know it by name as G R A S S grass underscore MC and period we want the X parameter to equal and the grass is a movie clip and I'm forget where I put the I think I put the the registration point right down here so what I'm going to do is just look at it for a minute and there see that X there's my registration point do it open this up again actions panel so I want that registration point to be at the bottom of the stage so X wise it's right here which is half of 550 because that's my stage so that's gonna be 275 that's gonna put it there copy this put another line in paste it 
Now I want my Y parameter, and my Y parameter is the bottom of my stage, and if I just click on my stage and open up my properties panel, my stage was 400, so that's going to be all the way down to 400. Now let's see if that works. I know we forgot to give the grass a instance name. Okay, so I know it's going to work. Let's go back, select the grass, select frame one. The grass is up here somewhere. Click on it, open the uh, properties panel, and we forgot to give it an instance name. G R A S S underscore M C. And I'm certain that's going to work, but we'll try it. Test movie and it puts my grass and there's my two little bees good lock it now I want to make those bees a little bit smaller than what they are they're too big so let's go to the actions panel and here's where you're going to learn something which we didn't do before so we know the bees are inside of the grass we know they're inside of a flower movie clip and then we have the bees okay now let's start writing this if we if we look right here see this target thing right there click on that there's the grass click on this inside the grass I have flowers and inside those flowers I have bees all right just tells you wh how to find things so this is how we code that grass g r a s s underscore MC period F L O W E R one underscore movie clip period B E E one underscore movie clip period and we want to change the width W I D T H the width we want that to be equal to Let's copy all this. Right click, copy it. After the equal signs, paste it. So this says that particular B, which is inside of flower one, which is inside of grass, its width is going to be to equal to what it was, the backslash divided by four. So it's going to be four times smaller, semicolon. Copy this line right click copy paste this line and we want this to change the height h e i g u h t and if you spelled width and height right they'll turn blue h e i g h t and let's copy those two lines both of them, copying both of them, right click, copy, come down below them, paste them, and this now will be flower two, B two, flower two, B two, flower two, B two. So let's just see if that working for us. I have two little bees, one little bee. This one didn't get small for some reason. Error, undefined term has no properties. Hmm, something wrong with that second set of information. Right there, look. B2, B2. And let's test it. And now I should have two little bees. There they are. And this little bee here, he's a little bit high, but let's go back to the movie clip, grass, double click, double click. I think it was this guy here, flower two, flower two. Make the stage a little bit bigger. And if we can just select the bee, no, we just can't. We go inside it, there we can. 
inside it, just click on the B and just tab him down a bit. You don't, might not have to do this. Back on scene one, back on the action script panel, go and open the actions panel, go back up here into this enter frame function below this line and type in this, type, 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 type. It says grass underscore MC period flower one underscore MC period B one underscore MC period width. You could just come down here and copy that line and paste it. And we want to make that width increase. So plus equals 0.2 semicolon. Copy this line, paste it here, and change the width to height. Copy the line, paste it again, change the height to period x plus equals 3, semicolon. Copy this line, paste it in here, and plus equals minus 0.5. Make sure you change the period x to period y on the last line. So every 24 times a second, it's going to do two things. It's going to make the B get a little bit larger, and he's going to fly across the screen from the left to the right. Let's copy all this. Hope that it's right. Copy it. Select the end here. Paste it in here. And where you see one, put a two. There's a two there, two there, two there, two there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Now, for in luck, let's just check here, make sure there's any errors. No errors according to that. And let's test the movie. There's the two little bees, and they're getting bigger. They're getting closer and flying. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.